Ay. <risa> I'm here with my buddy Harley. What's up, Harley? What's up, Steve? Boom. We're gonna make some fucking shit happen today. Harley is a proud member of our military, represents us in the fucking army, throwing down. Hell yeah, thank you, sir. I love my job. And he is bringing that fucking extreme good knowledge to the show today. We're making a fucking potato cannon, y'all. It's been one of the most requested things to do since the start of doing shows. You're the only motherfucker I know that knows how to do that shit right. Well, it's pretty easy. Step one. No successful potato cannon has ever been built sober, so you gotta have lots of beer. Or your, whatever alcohol, whatever you're drinking. Harley has a good point. You can't start a potato cannon build without liquor. Liquor. Hit it. We're gonna take a rip off the JD, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck. And afternoon and night and tomorrow, Tuesday. What? All the parts we item, need. Item number two, because the first one's alcohol. Yeah. Is you need yourself a combustion chamber. There's a piece of four inch by two feet ABS. You use PVC, you use whatever pipe you want to use. This is gonna be your combustion chamber. Here's where all the fucking explosive shit happens. The second most important part, uh, you can't build you a cannon without a barrel. We're using a four foot by two inch piece of ABS. You also use PVC. You can fucking experiment with the sizes and shit. This is what I found works pretty good. So we got a four inch, uh, a four foot piece of two inch and a two foot piece, piece of four, four inch. inch. Man. That's <laughs> a fucking mouthful you, you right You can't there. smoke too much weight before you start this project. So we couldn't find a two to four inch reducer. Right. So we're using a four to three, a piece of three, and a three to two. Yeah. Right. Stick the motherfucker together. You gotta reduce it down to that two inch for your barrel. For your barrel. How the fuck do we keep it from blowing out the, the well, back? That's the last part you need, is you need yourself a clean-out cap. So we oh, use okay. a four-inch clean-out cap, we're gonna slap in there like that. You're gonna cap it up to concentrate the explosivo, concentrate your boom-boom out that way. Oh, hell yeah! And then uh, you gotta have something to light it off. So we're using a, a little barbecue sparker right here. You know, you take these for free off barbecues. You sitting on the side of the road, I get them all the time. Oh, shitty barbecues, pull that fucking igniter out. So this is your ground and this is your hot. You gotta have these connected. Connected. The arc. The arc. Hey, you, you're fixing to get lit up. And... You gonna hold those together for me right there? Oh fuck, this is gonna light me up. You gonna hit it? Oh, give you a little spark. So we gotta drill a hole, uh, or put screw, how do you do that? You, you, mount, you, you keep it loose. Some people would actually mount that down in the thing. But you just want a spark in there. What we're gonna do, what I like to use, I like to use some drywall screws. You tie them in at the back of the combustion chamber because you want to focus all your fire from the back forward. So you're gonna tap these in. At the back. At the back. When you're doing it in ABS, very important, you gotta drill a pilot hole first because otherwise you'll crack it, and if you crack it, it's gonna blow the fuck up in your face. So you're gonna drill some pilot holes, you know, a little bit apart. We're just gonna use some drywall screws. I see what you're doing. Okay, so now the screws act as your, your, your sparker. Those are your contacts. Now when you get the screws inside, you want to position them as close to the center of the pipe as you can. Right. And you want about this much gap. You want to get them about what, that far apart? About that far, that's a good spark right So there. that's how far you get your screw heads apart. And then you attach these two to the screws. Yeah, you're gonna cut these two leads, you're gonna just tap, attach them to these screws, you can back them out, in and out, change your gap. Let's there. see if these two will, will fucking talk to each other. Oh, that shit right there, yeah. See how that screws, now, the fact that we put the screws through the pipe helps you keep a seal. Yeah. And it makes everything tight. Cause Absolutely. you want to have it under pressure. And when you drill your pilot hole, make sure it's enough that these threads can still grab, cause otherwise you'll fucking shoot these screws out or it'll leak. 
Just shoot, shoot fire at your face. Now you said potatoes, most common. Apples work good. I like apples more than potatoes, actually. I shoot better, but really you fit anything that'll fit tight down that barrel. You can shoot. Duct tape works real good for making things that don't fit so tight, fit a little tighter. Right, you just bottle it up. You just fucking wrap it up, make it fit nice and tight, shove it down there and Boom, don't make it fit too tight. You don't want to create too much pressure inside. It'll fucking blow that shit up right in your face. Don't overstuff it. And don't it, overstuff it. And also this, uh, Karen and we're making ABS, which you said is a little soft. ABS ain't pressure rated like PVC. PVC is pressure rated, but ABS is heat and chemical resistant. So you're gonna be putting heat and chemicals in it. ABS is good for that, but then you're also putting a lot of pressure in it. PVC is good for that. So, you know, your choice, what you want to use. I've used both. I never had one blow up. I've seen lots of successful ones made up both, but. Right. It's important to note, it's fucking dangerous, so. If you ain't ready to get a shard of PVC, don't try it at home. Don't fucking do it. That's right. Let's put it together, Harley. Shit. Fuck yeah, all right. So you're going to take you some, uh, some ABS PVC glue. Make sure you use the right glue for whatever kind of pipe you're using. Take your glue. This one, the shit's nasty. It's nice and thick. Now that's a clean out valve. Let me get this shit ready for you. This is the cap. So you're gonna take it, you run it around the outside, all the way around, a couple times, get a nice coating, and you put it around the inside, a couple oh. times, get a nice coating. You gotta get it wet. You Rub it, it like there. it's a fucking pussy you haven't stabbed. Just, just like that. You know, put whatever you're putting in. And you go rotate it 90 degrees. For those of y'all who failed math. That's from the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock. That means flip her from her side to her right. Yeah, exactly. Do so we got the clean out valve. That's where we're gonna spray in our fuel. We gotta let that sit. Now let's flip it over. Now we already went ahead and put these fucking, some of this, we put this one off. That one's together. Over. Let's go ahead and glue this reducer to that. So we're gonna take some more glue. Once more, you're gonna go outside. That's the same fucking idea every Inside. time. Get that shit wet, y'all. You're gonna put it in, flip her from her back to her side. Yeah. Or otherwise, depending on what stage of your night you're at. Hell yeah. Okay, so now what we've done is gone from our combustion chamber, reduced it down to two inches. Let's go ahead and put the fucking uh, barrel on. All right, important note. We're about to put the uh, igniter in. Once you put this in here, you ain't gonna fucking click that button until tomorrow because all that glue has to dry. Those fumes in there, fucking flammable. You click that button, that shit's gonna fucking blow apart in your face and fucking burn the shit out of you. It's important to let this thing dry overnight. Now, just don't fuck with it. They say a couple hours. I always go overnight to be safe because you know I don't really want shit blowing up in my face. Blow apart in your face. And just blow that shit up right in your face. Just shoot, shoot that. fire at your face. Blow the fuck up in your face. All right, now let's set this over here on the side and show them your fucking finished piece. While that dries, we're gonna put our igniter in it. We're gonna take this one out. This one's ready to go. You got it all painted up, camo and shit. Hold on, we're missing something. We're missing something. You gotta put some stickers on it. You gotta put a sticker on it. Okay, so now this is basically the same deal. You just have a three inch combustion chamber. You have your screw right here to keep the potatoes from going into the combustion chamber. You got your screws and everything. This is shit. We know our rights. Hell yeah. Perfect, Harley. That was easy to put together. Let's go Super fire this son of a You could be out. hammer drunk, can't even walk a straight line and put one of these together. Let's go shit this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck yeah! We're here! We're gonna blow some shit up. Stuffing one in the hole right now. Rammer. Stick your ramrod in it. We're gonna try an apple. Yeah, <laughs> hello, Ben. I floated up again. Fuck that. Smoke it. Oh, shit. It's got fucking. Look at that shit right there, yeah. Apple pie for the holiday. This thing is cool as hell, man. I like yours. I can't wait for mine to fucking dry. I'm gonna shoot it tomorrow. Bye, guys, that you stopped by. And we My appreciate pleasure. your service as always, sir. You know what, man? 
Fuck, we got shit to do, don't we? We got shit to do, yeah! What's that? Yeah. Have you subscribed? Did you get it? Hit the button. Get it. Get it. <laughs>